welcome you all on video lecture prepared and delivered by dr yuvraj parkade today's topic is programming of on chip adc in lpc 2148 first of all we'll see the outline of the video lecture which is as follows first we will discuss the different features of on chip adc second we will see the interfacing diagram of analog sensor for example temperature sensor lm35 and lcd interfacing to lpc 2148 third we will see the different algorithmic steps for adc programming fourth we will discuss different special function registers required for on chip adc programming and finally we will discuss an actual embedded c program for adc here we have to choose one of the analog channel to which we have connected one of the analog sensor for example temperature sensor and we have to convert those analog signals into its corresponding digital value by using on chip adc and we have to display those digital values on lcd display now let us see the features of on chip adc so the first feature is a it having 10 bit resolution and it is a successive approximation type of analog to digital converter second it can measure a analog voltage from zero volt to phi reference here phi reference is a typical voltage standing from zero to 3 volt and it is recommended that no one can exceed this range above the fdd voltage level third feature is it is a 10 bit and its conversion times are very fast that is greater than or equal to 2.44 microseconds so this on chip adc is very fast compared to the previous one that is adc 080 0808 which requires approximately 100 microseconds to convert analog value into the digital value file this one chip adc will convert one analog value into the digital value with only 2.44 microseconds next feature it having two a to d converters first is called as ad0 and second is called as ad1 in ad0 we have eight channels available ad0.0 to ad0. Seven. However, two channels are not available for this AD zero. So total six channels are available to connect different types of analog sensors. Whereas AD zero converter having eight analog channels, that means we can connect eight different analog sensors. For example, temperature sensor, humidity sensor. Uh, ultrasonic sensor so such a kind of eight sensor can be connected to ad1 before we move to the next point i will try to clear the objective of this lecture which is nothing but we have to write a program for on chip adc and we have to use ad0.1 as an analog channel second point is the interfacing diagram of sensor and lcd interfacing to lpc 2148 so this figure shows the interfacing diagram of your analog sensor which is nothing but a voltage divider circuit called as potentiometer and it is interfaced to the on chip adc which is inbuilt into lpc 2148 microcontroller and this is your 16 by 2 lcd so now whatever the analog value that is measured it is converted by using on chip adc here we have used p0.28 
pin which is nothing but AD0.1 channel that is channel 1 of ADC0 through which we are reading the value of the analog sensor and then that value is converted into digital value by using on chip or inbuilt ADC and the converted digital value is displayed by using 16 by 2 text LCD. So in the previous lecture we have seen the interfacing of 16 by 2 LCD to the LPC2148. Here we have 8 data lines D0 to D7. We require one enable, read write, register select pins and to adjust the contrast of your LCD we require this contrast spot and then VB plus and VB minus these are nothing but the backlights of your LCD. Now I will explain the algorithmic, algorithmic steps for programming of on-chip ADC. So it having four steps. So the first step is to stop any current convergence and deselect all the channels. Second step, we have to select the required analog channel you wish to use in your conversion. Third step is manually tell the ADC to start the conversion. And fourth step, wait for the conversion to complete. So basically there are four steps. In the first steps, you have to disable all the initial initial uh, uh, initial channels that is you have to deselect all the initial channels second step you have to select only the required number of analog channels to which you have connected your analog sensor third step you have to give the start of conversion pulse to your adc so that adc can start the conversion of analog value into the digital value and finally you have to monitor whether the a to d converter or a to do conversion is completed or not so these are the four step we have to we have to see in the fourth part we will see different special function registers that are required for the programming of on chip atc in this the first register which is required that is called as pin select one register so as we have seen in the interface diagram we have connected our potentiometer to the AD0.1 channel so we have to select this channel by using pin cell 1 register which is possible if we configure P0.28 pin number by using this two table so bit number 24 and 25 we have seen if we write this different values of truth table into this bit number 24 and 25 we are able to select p0.28 pin for different functions by using 4 as to 1 max so in this case we require to configure p0.28 pin as a 80.1 channel of adc so we have to write 01 bit or status into the bit number 25 and 24 so the total value or 32 value becomes 0x 01 00 00 00. So if we write this value into the pin cell 1 register which is used to select the particular function of your port 1. So your pin P0.28 will act as a 80.0.1 channel. Now we will see very important second SFRs called as ADCR which is A to D control register. So A to D control register E must be written to select the operating mode before A to D conversion can occur. So this is the control register that means it will control all the parameters of your on chip ADC. So now which parameter it can control so that we will see one by one. So first from bit number 0 to bit number 7 these 8 bits are used to select the particular analog channel of your AD0 that is A to D converter 0. Now how to select the particular channel so for this so bit number 0 to bit number 7 and bit 0 corresponding to first analog channel AD0.0 
bit 1 is corresponding to another or second A to D channel that is AD 0.1 then bit number 2 corresponding to the third analog channel bit number 4 is corresponding to the fourth channel likewise we have eight analog channels okay now in our case we have connected our potentiometer to this particular channel number one so if you want to select a channel number analog channel number one for your programming so you have to write one into that particular bit only that time all other analog channels must be written to zero so in this case only 80.0.1 channel is get selected and all other channels are deselected now this is how to select a single channel if you want to select more than one channel that is also possible so in this case you have to write one into that particular channel for example we have to select 80.0.0 and 80.0.1 so i have to write one into this bit 80.0.1 also i have to write one into 80.0.1 if someone is interested in the third analog channel then you have to write again one into third channel and whatever the combined uh, hexadecimal value that you have to write into this particular a to d c cr that is control register so first eight bits are used to select one of the eight analog channels of adc0 now next 8 to 15 bits these are called as a clock divisor that is adc requires its own clock signal for conversion of analog value into the digital value so how to set that adc clock so for this we have a simple formula which is given as clock divisor is equal to processor clock sorry peripheral clock divided by adc clock minus one whereas adc having a limitation on the range of its clock that is that is the ADC clock should not be less than or equal to 4.5 megahertz. So maximum 4.5 megahertz you can select as an ADC clock. And processor clock we know that uh, most of the time we select 12 megahertz as a, a uh, peripherals clock or processor clocks. For example, let us see how to select the ADC clock. So the formula is given C clock divisor is equal to P clock by AD C clock minus one. So let P clock is equal to 12 megahertz, which is a uh, peripheral clock and ADC clock is let we want it uh, three megahertz, sorry, it should be three megahertz. So clock divisor is equal to 12 megahertz divided by three megahertz minus one, which is four minus one. 3 that is in decimal now convert this 3 into binary which is 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 1 and write down this status into the bit number 8 to bit number 15 so these two bits will decide the clock of your adc that is 3 megahertz now next signal is a burst mode which is at bit number 16 is called as a burst mode so basically a to d converter will work in two operating mode first is called as a burst mode and second is called as a softer controlled mode now in the softer control mode we can configure more than one analog channel whereas in softer control mode we can use only one analog channel at a time so this is the basic difference in our case we are using the softer controlled mode of your adc operation where only one analog channel can be selected so you have to write zero into bit number six which will select the software control next bit number 17 18 and 19 these are used to decide the resolution of your adc as we know that the resolution of your adc is of 10 bits so we have different options available to select the resolution for example you can select 10 bit of resolution to 3 bit of resolution so how to select 10 bit of resolution so if you want to select 10 bit of resolution